Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode on the Hydro Kiwi channel. Today we're looking at the Akilobator. Um, um, it is a new release, uh, released actually this Monday, so a week, uh, like six days after, uh, six days before this video was filmed, um, the Akilobator released. A lot of people have been able to play it. I'm testing it for the first time today and seeing how it goes. So there are three subspecies, the Giganticus, the Calvis, and the Barbatus. I'm gonna go for the Gigantus. And the point of this Akilobator is actually to lead packs of smaller raptors. Oh, I really like that skin. A uh, lead packs of smaller raptors um, to basically domination. And that's what we're gonna do in this video. I'm gonna find a good, oh yeah, that's a really good name. Hello, this is, um, Editing Kiwi speaking. This is a skins and abilities overview. Um, this will end in, like, a minute or so, so if you want to skip forward a minute, please feel free to. On um, abilities, so for head, we've got Bite, Raptor Strikes, and Shred. I'm gonna go for his Shred, because I'm mainly a Pouncer. Meanwhile, Cruel Swipe and Claw Attack. More damage to heavier enemies, and deals additional damage. We're just gonna go for a regular claw attack. Hollow bones reduce stamina, uh, strength, and numbers, or survival of the fittest. I think we're gonna go for the strength in numbers. We've got hyper carnivore and scavenger. For the legs, we've got a leader of the pack, the pounce, and the ripping kick. Uh, we're gonna go for a pounce attack as of now. I'm just gonna... I began my path to glory. By advancing the mountains of Sharptooth Marsh, I was right next to the most dangerous area of Gondwa, Impact Crater. As a young juvenile Akilobator, this was an extremely dangerous risk I was taking. I think we won't take enough. Oh! Whoa. Oh! 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 Okay. As seen here by the fall damage. But if I were to become the king of all raptors, then I needed to take these hits and be able to know how to come back stronger. Our training began by spotting a Quetzal Wallace. Oh, there's a Quetzal. This tyrant of Lake Cretaceous, North America was the perfect training ground for a blood-hungry young Akilobator, and we were helped by a Smilodon. This Cenozoic Tyrant was equipped with two sets of blood-hungry laser-cutting teeth. Oh, he's going! He's going. But our young Akilo was just about to learn how dangerous this flying Tyrant could actually be. Although he looks fragile, he can pack a real punch. Oh my god, that's- Ah, oh, he's gonna- No. Oh. oh. And we soon learned that it's the best to take little baby steps in training. And so, we retreated. We soon found a more me-sized target. A small Dinosuchus. This is a river tyrant, instead of an aerial one. And he could do nothing when I was latched onto him. Except run to the water. Which he did. Get me off, get me off, get me off, get me off! Get me off! The Akilobator's little ability to swim means that it's very vulnerable to water. So, it was in my best interests to retreat. I got a lot of practice from this. And it was much worth the experience. But soon, bigger prey were to come. An iguanodon, an amp, and a camera. Please don't say we're being friendly to them. We gotta kill them, guys. It's for the content. And our blung hungry young Akilo went immediately for the Ampelosaurus. No! How did I not? But we just learned how dangerous a tyrant could be. There is something there. 
so we retreated to Green Valley. This is a luscious paradise for young Achilles that were trying to learn how to fight the right way. Oh, there's a two. Two aloes weren't on the menu, and the croc guarding them was even more dangerous. We needed to find smaller prey, something that I could really have a good tussle with. And the Megalania fighting at an, uh, another Cinepati looked to be the perfect target, and so I struck. Little that I know, there were two Megalanias, so this was about to get twice as hard. Oh my god, my game's lagging, my game's lagging. Okay, 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 okay. But luckily, the Megs weren't very interested in me and soon retreated, so I looked to find bigger and better prey. I soon joined a massive group. I mean, square down in Montasaurus and Ectus. My mom and I were going. This is one of Divine Beast's biggest and juiciest mods. It packs a powerful punch, but can be lashed on and destroyed by raptors. As I kept hacking at it, my other group members delivered big blows, severely injuring the Montasaurus. He's so badly. Ow! Ow! Rex! 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 The no! The negative of being latched onto the Edmontosaurus was the chance of a blunder by my teammates, as shown by that Rex there. He could easily just attack me and take me down without any effort by accident. So I need to preserve my health and my stamina. If I got too low. I would latch off immediately to prevent the chance of dying. I'm gonna jump off and let the rest of the team finish the job. Because I don't want to die. I was quickly replaced by another Achillobator. As the Edmontosaurus fought valiantly against the rest of my team, he looked badly injured, and I knew he would fall almost imminently. Yeah! And the great titan of Green Valley had fallen. Come on. After getting necessary experience, I returned to my homeland of the Grand Plains. This young Achillobator and his pack found a massive target. A T-Rex. We're fighting. Often known as the king of all dinosaurs. This titan of the late Cretaceous would be a very valiant competitor. I don't know, okay. This and is... as soon as I latched onto him, I began dealing immense amount of damage with my raptor strikes. But this T-Rex knew how to fight me off. By spamming the space button, raptors can get easily shaken off by titans like T-Rex. But he had made a big mistake from running to the water because Grand Plains River was filled with many dangers, such as Sarcosuchus and Dinosuchus. Oh. It's a tough place out here. I switched to a different strategy. Using my ripping kick instead of my pounce was a safer option and dealt tons more damage, as well as bleed important aspect of killing Rexes. I hit a perfectly timed ripping kick on his head, but then missed my next few, almost injuring a croc in the process. While this was happening though, my team had caught up with me and dealt immense damages. I need to protect myself from the Rex as well. If I were to not die. Croc's coming in with a big hit, and he missed. Good job, Croc. As the Rex tried to run away, we were able to get the final sh finishing blows. And the Titan was down. Aw, oh, that's unfortunate. I think I either killed him or killed Lou with that kick. And we're an adult now. That's wonderful. Look at that finish, Carno. Our first hunt as an adult started with a Pycnonemosaurus. Actually, two Pycnonemosauruses. 
Aqua's on the hunt. And as a small raptor, it's my duty to keep the Pignanimosaurus running. And train its stamina. We were a fast group. But some of our staminas weren't the best. So as an Achillobator, I had good speed and good stamina, and I could chase him down. The two Pycnos tried to run away, but try as they might, they could never outrun an Achillobator. I tried to pounce, but missed. Slowed momentum from the car car wasn't the best, but at least he did some damage. And now, the two Achillobators were hot on their heels. Dang it, we missed- Oh god, the, the, the Latin latched onto me. Oh, one of them- One of the Pictos fell from the pig. But the other one was still on the run. Keep chasing at him. We closed the gap with every incoming second. He was running out of stamina. And he used his rock to try to back himself into a corner and deal immense damage. Oh, this is easy. Well. Huh? But this Achillobator was very nimble and could weave in and out, dealing big damage in the process. And soon, I chased him off the cliff, and he died to natural causes. Let's go! That was epic. Demon, 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 demon. Hey, go for the patchy, go for the patchy, go for the patchy, go for the patchy. I returned to the hellhole that is Impact Crater. And the Pygnanimosaurus that died originally decided to join us. An extra hell, but I didn't need it because we also had a Dilophosaurus on our side. Together, the two raptors were able to try to take on the Pachycephalosaurus. Pachys used to be a pain in the ass back in the day. But now they could be taken out easily with just a bit of skill. Come on, I got him. Let's go. Huge bleed. Huge bleed. Big bleed. Come on. Laggy game wasn't ideal. But I could still land hits when I had to. Oh, oops. Sorry, d -Lo. I didn't mean to go for you. So laggy. And as the Apache kept bleeding out, he needed to sprint. But the bleed will work in terrible ways against him. I missed him. He's gone, I have no idea. What, where is he going? He's trying to traverse the land. I'm an Achillobator, I can traverse the land better than you can. As Apache tried to mount and climb the hills of Impact Crater, he forgot that the Achillobator was an expert mountain climber. Raptors were the best for traversing the lands and hills of Impact Crater. And as he tried to sprint away, I was hot on his heels. He's trying to make a break for it, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh god, he's... Oh. He dodged and weaved. Nothing could stop him from the two raptors that were pursuing him. And eventually, I was able to land the final blow. Another kill! I'm an absolute world sensation. Bro, I've got three kills on this thing. Ending out day one was a montage of me trying to take on an Achillobator, who was actually a friend of my group, and it was kind of embarrassing, but, you know. Just enjoy the chase, I guess, in the middle of the night.
friend, friend. A new day dawned over an impact crater, and I immediately jumped into action, finding a group of Achillivators that were fighting a pair of Rexes. This was an ultimate challenge for me. Rexes, as we know, are one of the most dangerous creatures in Pound Titans. But, a, but it's nothing that a group of raptors can't handle. How did I miss him with that ripping kick? He's done now. Oh no, he isn't! Go, Cams! As the fight prolonged, we received much help from other sources, such as a TC amp and an Edmontus horse. But even though I was on high health, I prioritized finding a pack. Tangible pack could help me with any endeavor that I needed. A pack that I could rule. And now joining my newly found teammates, I returned on my chase of the Rexes. I soon realized that the Rexes had backed themselves into a corner. They were now very susceptible to my pounce and ripping kick attacks. Even though I missed a pounce, it was okay. The Rexes were already low, and I was able to get one with a ripping kick on the tail. The Rexes tried sprinting, but they were no match for my ripping kick and stamina. This even lured the amp to charge towards the Rexes and deal immense amounts of damage. But a mistimed run meant that I took much damage from an amp tail whack that I definitely could have dodged. And even though I missed my second pounce, the Rex fell and we won the battle. Okay, go for the Serato, my friend. This moment, this moment right here, marks the beginning of the Raptor's War against the Blue Ceratosaurus. The Ceratosaurus packed a powerful punch. Its charged up bone break bite could do heavy damage. But it was no match for a group of large Raptors like the Achillivator. No, 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 Bubble, ah! Bubble's gonna die! Run, Bubble, run! For some reason, the lag was against our side. The Serato kept hitting his bites, but we kept missing. I was still confident we could take it down. Three strong Raptors and an Emmont against one Serato. It was a clear favor in numbers. Even better, a fourth Velocci came in to help. But the Serato was not holding back. If I'm not careful. If he's not careful, I mean. Oh, dang it, I missed him. Retreat, Akilo. We have this. Oh, okay, I got him. A constant barrage of ripping kicks meant this, that the Serato was constantly on the run and the bleed could do its work. But as he near closer to our weaker group members, the need to kill him was even more severe. For some reason, the Red Achillivator decided to re-enter the action, a blunder on his part. And as we chased after him, the end was near for the Red Achillivator, and I knew it. If he didn't retreat or get back as soon as possible he would die and he faced the consequences of his actions in the end I also retreated as well it just wasn't worth it to engage in such a fight I didn't lose that much but he didn't either and instead I grabbed some important respite drinking from the water 
the war between us and the Blue Serato would continue. But in the end, it ended in a stalemate. Sometimes I would go up to heal and return just for both of us to lose lots of health and the same cycle would repeat itself. Our best course of action was just part our ways. A mutual respect developed between the Achillivators and the Ceratosaurus. Instead, I went to hunt bigger prey. We had joined a pack known as Bleed Central and were in pursuit of a Rex. As the name suggests, we were heavily focused on Bleed. With dinosaurs such as the Acrocanthosaurus and Carcharodontosaurus on our side. Even though we took big hits from the Rex, the group persevered and pushed on forward. Big bone breaks hurt the larger dinosaurs in our pack, and I knew I needed a pounce to finish everything off. Unfortunately for the Rex, it had slick scales on. And eventually, it fell. But we needed health, and food was important. In the dead of the night, I opted for smaller prey, and Allosaurus chasing two other Achillivators seemed like a likely target. That's why I attacked. Because of the server lag, it was quite hard to land my hits, but the Alan knew I was going for him. I missed it. Oh, Jesus. Oh! Eventually, though, the aloe was able to get a hit on me, and the fight really began. What was worse that was that the aloe was supported by UD. That meant that the Uteranus could help heal the Allosaurus in times of danger. And to add insult to injury, my friends and teammates or not even in the area. So this would prove to be a big challenge. Lots of action going on. Here we go, here we go, here we go. After a quick stamina heal, we were back in the action, immediately landing a ripping kick on the Allosaurus. Unfortunately, I also took a hit of myself. I was struggling for options. I needed stamina to keep landing my ripping kicks. But I also needed to stay stealthy. As the Allosaurus tussled with the other Kilobators, this gave me time to recover a bit of stamina on my own. But as they edged nearer to my hiding place, it was imminent that I didn't have much time, and I immediately retreated. He's running. This is low. Ow! The lag allowed the Uteranus to hit me, but I wasn't deterred. Instead, I responded with a ripping kick of my own. We were really in the heat of the battle, and two big attacks from the Allosaurus severely injured me, and I was on the brink of death. I didn't have much stamina left, or much health. And I was bleeding out like crazy. I could only hope that my mountain climbing skills would get me somewhere that the owl couldn't. Maybe I'm trying to get up here and already I was only allowed a few seconds of rest before the Allosaurus found a way. But. Like always, I was able to escape 
with them hot on my heels. They knew I was low. And they tried every inch of their power to get me dead. But unfortunately, gravity was on my side. I was able to escape alive. This was my closest scare to death so far as an adult. Okay. We're gonna hail up. After healing and regrouping, I went for round two, this time with a pack, and this time for a T-Rex. Raptors were a pain in the ass for a t solo T-Rex, but this time, the raptors had enemies, and the T-Rex had allies to rely on. Yep, he's back again, the Allosaurus. Oh no, that's not good at all. He was back for more. He wanted me dead. Good as, as, with a solid amount of stamp. Velociraptors and any type of raptors actually could outrun an Allosaurus any day of the week. <clears throat> with the minimal amount of stamina I had left, could I make it out alive? It seemed so, and I was able to get my stamina back, but not before the Allosaurus found a way. Fortunately for me, he was already ble bleeding like crazy. This was a whole out skirmish, a whole war between these two paths. The Alma and the UD were very fierce battlers. But we had huge, we had huge apexes such as Acrocanthosaurus and Carcharodontosaurus. But unfortunately, the raptors joined the Allosaurus. And our group began to fall apart one by one. I had raptors, Dilophosaurus, so many creatures chasing after me. And we were losing so many different group members. Where is he? No! The group is slowly dying from the inside. The yellow. Oh, this is a knife. This is a knife. I was able to hit a rival a kilometer. in an attempt to defend our weakened group members. But that's when I saw those two, the main antagonists, the evil beings in this video, the Allosaurus and the Uteranus, and I attacked them with all my might. But unfortunately, I was just too low on health. There was nothing I could do I faced death with open arms, but I wanted to go out a warrior instead. Out of stamina, and almost out of health. There, there was nothing I could do but just dodge for my last moments. And quite ironic of me to go out like that with stamina for my own teammate. Okay, yeah. Oh well, it was gonna end that way either way, so... With me dying. But anyways, that is it for this video um, on the Akilobator. It was super fun playing as the uh, giant raptor. Um, and um, yeah, it was super fun. The mechanics of pouncing weren't as on point as they were yesterday. Which is quite interesting. But anyways, this guy was super fun to play as. I uh, totally recommend if you want a big, uh, if you want a raptor that can pounce but it's not too squishy. Um, 
although it does need a bit of like skill maneuverment you don't want to take too much damage but you want a lot of bleed um anyways yeah that's basically it for this video if you enjoyed the video please make sure to like and subscribe it really means a lot to me and i'll see you guys in the next one Bye bye